Welcome to LearnWire. In this video, I'll be showing you the uh, new feature in Article Forge uh, that allows you to create up to 1500 words uh, articles in just one click. So previously, when you're uh, in Article Forge and you're going to create an article, uh, you have the choice between short, uh, very short, short, medium, and long. And 750 words was the max that you could do. Well, since then, they've updated their algorithm. And this has actually been the top most requested uh, feature from Article Forge uh, customers uh, to allow for at least a thousand words or more. Looks like, um, you know, 2000 words would be great too, but we all know too, one click, um, when you're doing a lot of content like this, the one click is, uh, is risky and it's, uh, kind of hit and miss. Sometimes you can get a pretty decent article, 1500 words, 2000 with some of these, uh, article generators. And, but a lot of times you're going to have to go and do a lot of fixing for the content. We're going to go do some testing. I've only done one test. Um, a few days ago with this and uh, it did the article did come out pretty good we can actually go over to my articles real quick uh, let's see when I did that can you make money on Fiverr I did this one on April 7th so uh, less than a week ago and I'm just gonna go and click on it we can go and check it out this is what the what it looked like after just uh, hitting a couple buttons and it came out here uh, write ebooks and you can look and pause the video, but it seems to stay on point. Offer social media services, right? Is the subtopic in here. Whether you have experience managing Twitter or Facebook accounts, you can turn your expertise into a Fiverr gig. Uh, so it actually did stay on topic there. It stayed on topic here with Fiverr. Um, and the beginning sentences are not starting out the same. So, I mean, overall, uh, it's tying it back into Fiverr. Uh, and it's looking pretty good. So this article did turn out really well, and it was about 1600 words or so. Uh, so that one worked really well. Uh, of course, in Article Forge, uh, you can rewrite with Word AI. I've never used that extension inside of here. You can do a lot of things. You can have this auto. You can literally use Article Forge to create an auto blog if that's something that you're interested in trying out. Uh, we're going to go in and do a new article and go test it out and uh, for you. If you want to try out Article Forge, a five day free trial, there'll be a link below. Uh, go check it out. Uh, the pricing is uh, a little uh, on the expensive side, but in comparison with some of the other AI tools, it's right up there with them. Now, the best way to go, if you go with just monthly, you're gonna be looking at $57 a month for 250,000 words. That's a lot of content. If you're writing a couple articles a day, you're gonna be fine with the $57 plan. And then there's unlimited content over here as well. Uh, and then you go to the yearly plan, which this drops down to $27 a month um, or $57 a month. Now, let me get the calculator out real quick. Uh, $27 if you buy the yearly plan, which I, uh, you get six months for free. So it really is encouraged, uh, to get this package. And I believe that this is the one that I paid for 324. That looks like they do have an unlimited uh, words per month. If you um, are running a business where you need that unlimited package, um, really cool stuff. Still, even at $57 a month, it's, it's less than Jasper and other tools. So it's not the most expensive. Uh, you have to know uh, the reasons uh, and see the value in getting Article Forge. Um, but if it's going to be your primary, primary uh, content writer for, your, for a primary website, I probably would not recommend Article Forge as your primary tool. Uh, I would go with something like Jasper um, or Brainwork or Word Hero or uh, any of those tools would be uh, really good. Uh, Copy AI as well. But if you are doing auto blogging or anything like that, then Article Forge is going to be the best tool on the market. So let's go and do some testing. I went into Rank IQ, pulled a report for how to make money flipping cars. We're going to check this one out. Now, this one needs 3,400 words of content. Um, we're going to just go and do some testing. We'll, um, we'll put in eight topics. I'll show you how the tool works. Now, I went in and used uh, and just showing you how I use all my tools. Well, I have Outranking uh, and I'll go and I'll pull an article uh, outline, right? So it, this AI did all the outline for me. And now I have this full outline over here that I could go and use. Outranking will also go out and automatically write an article for me as well. I'll do more content on that in the future. But for now, we're just going to take uh, some of these topics over here. Um, and so I'm going to come back over inside of here. And uh, let's just get our topic over here. So I'm going to copy this. We're going to go back into Article Forge and throw that main topic down, right? So that's telling it exactly what the article should be about. We are going to select the 1500 words um, right there and then add titles. Um, 
uh, must be on to add section headings. Okay, so we're good. We have to leave that on add section headings. So we'll leave that on and auto generate. So if I turn this off, um, then you wouldn't be able to do um, have this new feature right here. This is brand new, uh, where you're going to add what you want it to write about, right? Uh, we can go in and check this out as well. Uh, when you set off, you can enter your own section headings. Uh, so when we turn that on, it can go out and do, we'll test that in the next article, okay? But for now, we're going to manually do this. So I'm going to come back over here to, and start grabbing some of these right here. Set your buying budget. And we'll throw that in right here. And then we'll just come back over to out ranking. So this is the only part uh, that will uh, take um, a couple minutes to set up. But I mean, if you don't have uh, five minutes to set up an article properly, then you probably shouldn't be writing in a blog post, right? So we're gonna come through here and just keep going. Okay, so right off the bat, uh, you could look at this in two different ways. One, you could be um, just uh, kind of more on the optimistic side that um, that's really awesome. They're letting us uh, put in eight uh, subheadings, which is quite a few, right? Um, and pretty typical between four and eight is a pretty standard 1000 to 1500 word post. So it makes sense. Um, on the other hand, you could be looking at this and saying, well, if they've developed an algorithm to do this, why can't we do uh, 10 or 15 uh, subheadings, right? So, um, but it is good. I think it's a pretty healthy number to start. Um, and if you need a longer post, you could just run this twice and change the subheadings out, and then you would have a longer uh, blog post. We can add images, add videos, and so forth in here, but we're not going to do that. So right here, we're just going to go ahead and push the create new article button. And it's going to go out there and we're going to get our little fancy uh, visual graph that uh, shows how long this is taking. Now, while that's doing that, we'll come back and check that out in a little bit. But right while it's doing that, let's go to new article and we can put in for testing purposes. Let's go and put this same one in right here. And I think this will be a great test. We'll put that in right there. We'll go 1500 words, but then we'll turn this on right here. So the section headings result in higher quality, more organized articles. So we want to leave that on, but auto generate section headings. Um, then it's going to, uh, I guess, uh, automatically go out and do the research for us and create its own. So we'll do a comparison of the two of those, right? And we will say create, um, let's see right here. Uh, just want to see which one is, um, I want this one to finish before I push the button over here. Eh, what the heck, create new article. All right, so we've got two um, are creating, both using the same queries, and we'll look at that first one when it's done. We'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. Um, I would say that took about seven minutes. So depending on how you look at it, uh, it that could be also uh, construed as uh, pretty fast or pretty slow. Uh, obviously, I've shown you tools that can do this within a, a less than 10 seconds and create a 1500 word article. Uh, but we're gonna go check out the uh, I would rather wait five to 10 minutes and actually have something that's, um, you know, more ready to, pu uh, to publish on a blog um, or sell to someone. Um, and so I'm definitely okay with the time if it ends up being pretty good. So how to make money flipping cars is the main keyword. If you've ever dreamed of uh, selling a car for profit, you might be wondering how to start the process. Here are some tips, set, uh, set a price range, get cash, um, ascertain fair market value and know how to buy. Once you know these tips, you're ready to start flipping cars, start buying cars today. There are many opportunities to make a decent profit. Start by buying one for 500 or a thousand below is trade. Uh, it's trade value. Set your buying budget while finding a great deal. I'm not going to read the whole thing to you guys. You guys can pause the video and read it. But um, so far, get cash uh, right here. You must have an initial cash investment and some skills first determined. So it's staying on point right there. Ascertain fair market value. Okay, so let's come back up here. And I'm actually seeing something that's extremely, uh, <laughs> extremely cool. So when we come up here, I was a little bit looking at this like, oh, okay, so it's it's kind of like writing a miniature article right here. And then it's and then there's no way that these subtopics are going to actually relate to it. But look at this, get cash, ascertain fair market value, know how to buy. Uh, look at right here, get cash, uh, ascertain um, market value, know how to buy. So it literally took some of these subtopics from here. And it actually wrote a an intro paragraph right here. Uh, this is actually really, really, really good. 
Uh, and then we come through here and you can just start, uh, you can just pause the video. See, you should attend car auctions and make note of a model year. So you got to know how to buy, right? Visually inspect the interior. You should carefully visually inspect the interior. And so it, while you can always commission an auto mechanic or hire an inspector to visually inspect the interior of a car, a used car buyer can't afford to pay a professional every time. So uh, this is actually pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, very impressive. It's staying on topic. Pop the hood. So here's one where I don't see where it talked about popping the hood. So right here uh, is one. We found one that didn't really work so well. Uh, right here, this is a great sentence right here. How long has the car been setting? The truth is that most buyers don't want um, ostentatious uh, spoilers or aftermarket exhaust systems. Okay, so overall, other than this pop the hood one, I didn't really go into the reason to pop the hood. Uh, really, really good stuff. I also want to take this text and uh, copy it and just go over to uh, Copyscape real fast. Go log in real quick. I'm going to throw it in there and it has no results. Okay, so that's beautiful. Then I'm going to go and open up Microsoft Word real quick. I'll bring that in front of you guys over here and we'll just paste this in here. I, it keeps its formatting, right? And you can see down over here, 1300 words. So it did 1300 words for us. Uh, pretty nice stuff. So overall, I'm, I'm very impressed with this. They have upped their game. Um, they have upped their game with this. Okay. So, uh, we got a 1300, uh, almost 1400 words right there. Okay. So I'm going to delete this now. Um, and that is, pr that was pretty worthy other than maybe a few edits. That one would be ready to publish. Um, uh, and it's unique content. So, um, all the more impressive. Let's go back and we'll go to new or, uh, not new article, my articles. And let's check out the other one that it automatically did for us. Okay. Or that one might not be done yet. We'll be back back. Okay. So let's go see the result of that second option where we had it create everything for us. Um, we'll also see how many words it was able to produce. So we got how to make money flipping cars. We'll go back and how to make money flipping cars. That is the keyword. So that's good. And uh, you can just pause the video and read. I'm going to go ahead and read through a little bit of this. Okay, so we've got some really in-depth content right here. Uh, identifying a car that needs repairs uh, would be a good subtopic for how to make money flipping cars. That's definitely something you're going to need to do is identify if it's a good car that can be flipped or not. So that's good. Setting a budget for a flip and it is staying on track about car flipping. So that's good. Working with a mechanic right here. Um, so uh, this is pretty good. We have the title and then we have one, two, three, four. So we have four uh, major subtopics that it created. Um, I would like to be able to have an option to say, hey, we want uh, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight, like where we can choose the amount of topics. Um, the amount of content inside of here is it's a lot for the one topic. I, I would like, I would rather see more H2s and then half of the content, if that makes sense. So I would rather have this spit out eight H2s and a little bit less content for each one. Um, but you could also run this again. Um, and I, I do like choosing. I, I think I like the other version better, but I will, I do have to admit it did a pretty good job and it did stay on topic for each subtopic and it did create these subtopics. Um, and you know, there's for the click of a button, uh, there's not a whole lot of, this is one of the highest quality that I'm seeing so far. Um, Let's go real quick. Control A. We're going to copy this and I'm going to go back into Microsoft Word real fast. I just want to see how many words it has. So 1400 words. So we didn't get that 1500 words, but we got two 1400 word articles, which is close, close enough. It's pretty close to uh, 1500. Uh, pretty good. Uh, what do you guys think? Leave a comment below. What do you guys think? Do you guys have this tool? Um, do you guys use this tool? Do you have any use for this tool? Um, I think um, at the, I'm surprised. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised that it actually did better than, than I thought it would do. So leave a uh, comment below what you guys think. Um, and if you want to go and try uh, Article Forge out, then there will be a link below to go and get a free trial to this. So uh, I will see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.